It probably doesn't bother you anymore now, does it? Because you didn't know it's for a reason. Ben echt Nederlands? Ja. Damn, this is a good Lunara map. Ah, oh, sorry, Diva. I'm gonna go Lunara for Raw, unless they ban or pick it or something. Then I'll probably get Diva. <laughs> good, versatile. Haven't seen a good Genji in a while, would be nice. Yeah, I'm not a good Genji though, sorry. I, I haven't practiced this champ. Evolve. Evolve, conquer. Oh, this is my jam! So Lunara's, <coughs> sorry, Lunara's job in a uh, team fight is, there is, is to poison as many different people as possible without concerning yourself about finishing someone off definitively. You're not a finisher. Let me talk to you about the major way that Lunara is a finisher. Her 20% bonus mobility means she can run down enemies with 100% mobility very easily. In a one-on-one -on -one where you know you're going to win and you don't chase a Sonya that poison spirits you in the face. So, uh, yeah, you can run people down like that. Just because it's like as if you have boots of speed and they don't, right? Like if you're healthier, you're going to kill them. But she shouldn't obsess about finishing. You'll either take Thornwood or Leaping Strike. Both are good. Um, obviously, the fact that Leaping Strike makes you unstoppable during its duration should be listed in the tooltip, but it's not. But it's a key part of it. That means you can dodge ETC Power Slide, Diablo Shadow Charge, uh, Butcher's Root Ruthless Onslaught. You can dodge Precision Strike, obviously, which is more about positioning rather than I the stand. unstoppable effect. But there's, uh, yeah, there's there's many benefits to it. The 0.35 seconds slow is so short that it won't be there once you land. It's pretty much just to somewhat keep them in place as you jump over them. You should barely see 0.35 seconds as, as almost anything. So it's not about the slow, uh, but it's the damage and the placement. If you go leaping strike, never leap into enemy backline unless you have two charges. And even then, you may not always want to do it. Keep in mind that you are still taking damage as you're leaping. So if you leap through a phoenix, you'll take damage. Mm. From For the rest, if you go Thornwood Vine, you'll truly embody the meaning of Lunara. You'll also always go for Splintered Spear, which is a little bit the same as Thornwood Vine in the sense that you try to get your poison on as many different targets as possible. But Thornwood Vine, obviously, three charges, you got a lot more poison spread out repeatedly. Now, keep in mind that these charges do not recharge simultaneously. That means if you use all three in rapid succession, it will take you 45 seconds, well, 42, to have everything back. So although it seems spammable, it should not be wasted Obey carelessly. Occasionally, you'll Thornwood Vine to clear a minion or mercenary wave, but ideally you try to do it with that. Furthermore, Lunara has some pretty tough mana issues if you overuse your abilities. In particular, W and R should not be spammed needlessly. They should have a purpose. Auto attack spread of your poison is really good. Q is decent. You can hit four minions per minion wave. You hit the other three and then uh, you just keep kind of spreading your poison around. Doesn't really need you to W, but occasionally you'll do it because you want to clear faster. Keep in mind that uh, your poison lasts up to nine seconds. And so uh, this is of course something to remember. One attack gives three second poison. 
That means that if you attack three different targets once, that would be the time to use your crippling spores in order to extend the duration of poison on all three targets. Natural perspective is really good for scoping out bushes. By the way, Lunara just got uh, a buff. Her wisp now can be moved to direction every one second instead of every five. And furthermore, it has two hits needed to be killed instead of one. This is hits, not damage. I love it when someone else calls the shots. Taste my I'm a good sub. Well. I think. Here, now I poison to get the... Another thing to remember <coughs> is that when you have... <coughs> I love watching them just when you have Ariel, all the damage that you do is granted in energy. So, when you have Ariel, it is far more desirable to get... Thornwood Vine than Leaping Strike. It's not that you won't have spread damage without Thornwood, it's just more of a good thing is really good. <coughs> well. The little leaf icons is how many poison stacks you have. Three is the max, which is nine. So if you see three f uh, leaves, it's basically nine to seven seconds of poison because it cannot show increments that aren't divisible by three. Perfectly. Well, intruders. <laughs> Nature reclaims all. Taste my spear. He needs to share damage. Yeah, he wants to get the wave. That's fine. Hero, gather tribute and earn my favor. I must pull back. Because his heal is AOE and heals however many are in that range, it actually is better. If we both take the same amount of damage. I'm gonna go Nimble Wisp. <clears throat> this was never your land. Ouch. Reclaims all. The forest fights back. I shouldn't take tower shots like this. We are already protecting. A thorn in your side. I love the fact that you can spread wisp more often. Oh nice! A game where no one died needlessly yet. Splinter Spear. My favor. Regrowth. I just love watching you do. Growing strong. Keep in mind that when you do your Q, you get a auto attack division block that also works anytime you attack, not just immediately after. There's infinite grace period. I think he could have killed me. So you always must proc 
You must always do a Q. So that you can get a nice little... Uh, that's fine. So you can get a nice little uh, Q before the team fight. Also, the Q uh, spread vastly increases the amount of um, range. Look at this. It actually went to Arthas as well, who was very far away. Like you see, if you have Ariel, you'll always run out of mana because she heals you consistently. That's fine, I have Fountain. Nice. So that's uh Taste my spear for the wilds. They got some pretty serious damage top. Uh. Oh. Hey you're not a finisher, calm down. I know, that's why I'm not, right? The forest fights back. So, uh, I actually think that it's better to get leaping here, Gather so I can follow up on Mush Pit to kill someone quickly, because they only have four real heroes. That's some nice utility. Time for some reading. Nature reclaims all. So you get some nice battle uh, penetration with leaping. Good stuff. I will cap. I would not have been able to reach Kalthus out with anything oh, except well except uh, Thornwood Vines. No, the XP! Ah, good. Got four of them. I will get a uh, giant killer. some keep damage destroy this wretched fort oh they have mule a thorn in your side oh nice we walked into a trap I will remove my mana is low <laughs> the death coil though
globes. So as I was saying, leaping strike well. is quite nice. It has many purposes. <laughs> Wow, you can absorb two mines now with uh, Lunar's Wisp. So nice. So when you want single target damage as Lunara, you get... Um, Giant Killer and Leaping Strike. You get the Starwood Spear for bonus range. After you proc W, you get bonus range. And you can actually always hit the squishies, even when the tanks are in front of them. Which is really useful, obviously, as an assassin. No! Ouch! Each, ouch. See, this is my range now. It's really big. But it only lasts for 6 seconds, which is pretty darn long, because you can cast it every 10. For the wild. It's okay. So that was totally no risk placed by me and I absolutely recommend you to play everything exactly the same as this. The forest fights back. Let's go. I must retreat, but I'll be back. Did Athero take block or war paint? War paint, poison spear, mystical nerves of steel focus attack. Let's go. The forest fights back. I hear the call of Kalimdor. No reason to continue. Don't auto attack, so you have a preloaded Q. Fret not, I shall return. I will renew these lands. I grow tired of your petty squabbling. Gather tribute. Earn my favor. I seek the enemies of the forest. This 
was never your land. By the way, you outrange towers if you want to. For the wilds. Greetings, friend. I just love watching you win. He death coiled me. Yo, thanks for the sub, Hash Brown. How much slow is enough for unfair advantage? Gather tribute. Earn my I mean, Tustadar is obviously great, but it's only single target. Where's the excitement? This was never your last. Renara can be a ruthless finisher. I hear the call of Kalimdor. I must retreat, but I'll be back. Greetings, friend. My schedule has changed recently. And while I don't get to see you as often as other streamers. I always look forward to when I get to see you stream the most. Let the curse Galloping end. Gate. Until oh, okay. Once more, that is. Yeah, cool. Thank you very much. It's nice. Nice to hear. Good luck in your new schedule. Thanks for the calls, Athero. I would make them, but it's nice to have someone much better making the calls. Anyone indeed making calls is nice. Of course, bad calls aren't nice, but it's a real pleasure to play with a shot caller. Noise. Hope you enjoyed it, Raul. It was a nice team and nice shot calls. The calls carried the game. Smooth game. Yeah, my man Raul Gonzalez Poker is watching. I have to try to impress. <laughs> uh, but yeah. It was, uh, I mean, I am enabled, let's say, to warrior to support that hyper carry I was talking about. But it's easy to stay alive when you have Tossed Ariel babysitting you. ETC even with proc rock, so technically three heals. And Sonya to distract them. And shot calls. I mean, it's, it's pretty much the dream. Of course, I'm pleased with zero death game. And I did my best, but... Actually, I did my best to die. <laughs> A top keep? Yeah. Can you show build? I forgot to show the build, but I will go show the build in quick match. 
So I went for natural perspective to chase people through bushes. Uh, Nimble Wisp because it travels faster than Lunara, actually allowing you to effectively scout Cursed Hollow. Uh, Cursed Hollow bosses before you get there. Splinter Spear for the spreads, leaping, repositioning, retargeting, and bursting. Giant Killer also bursts because we only have one assassin. So in order to deal with Arthas, getting Giant Killer is quite key if you ever want to kill him in more even fights than we had. Starwood Spear for the range, so you can attack whomever you want. Though I will say that Invigorating Spores can be really nice if you're specifically killing warriors. Really good for Giant Killer procs. Her auto attack damage is weak. It's all about the poison. So never take Invigorating unless you also have Giant Killer. And you must really feel confident that you can do it. And then 20 Galloping Gate. I ended up not using it in this game, which was a mistake. I forgot I had it. But we pretty much ended after we got level 20, with or without it. It's the best one, Galloping. But if you go for the other alt, you can also go for his Wrath. You come a little bit more long ranged. Greetings, friend. Oh, uh, Six months already, Grupride. You're a wonderful human. Thank you, Lusty Grouper. You're a wonderful fish. At level 16, actually, everything is good. Uh, let them wither. 50% slow, no DK. Considering it's three seconds, that's a lot more extra slow. About two and a half times as much slow. Uh, I can give you the maths if you want. Choking Poland, very strong as well. It's a little bit, it's like, like let's say the hardest one to play because uh, you need to hit something that's poisoned with a Q, which is pretty small radius. But this is like a 600 damage crit instead of like 250. So very strong as well. If you go for Leaping Strike, you can also go Abolish, but you'll probably forget about it as well, Grave Digger. So instead, just get Bantless Strike then, I guess. More Leapings. Nice. And no one took the Tribute. They could have probably gotten it. Wow, this is like the best TV game I've played in a while. Like the whole draft, how it works, and so on. 